Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the second Home Alone, Home Alone 2. This one takes place in New York City, focusing again on Kevin McAllister, Marv and Harry as they pursue Kevin McAllister at once, coming across them in New York City. If you have not seen this film, there will be spoilers ahead. If you have seen this film, enjoy! So Home Alone 2, the same concept, except Kevin McAllister um, goes to the airport at this, in this one with his parents rather than being left behind at home in Chicago. So the parents and Kevin were supposed to be heading to Florida. The family are running that fast in the um, airport. They end up going to Florida and Kevin ends up following a guy who looks similar to his dad and ends up going to New York City. So the story is basically he spends time in New York exploring, being a tourist, um, uh, and uses his dad's credit card, which he has at the uh, airport, hence why he's so, so far behind his family. So he goes to the hotel, spends loads of money on ice cream, and pizzas and limos and chauffeurs and et cetera, et cetera, um, which makes obviously the, um, the hotel concierge very skeptical of what's going on because you never see the dad, you never see the mom, and he claims he's with his parents. They're at conferences and that sort of stuff. So it's cool to see what Kevin gets up to watching the movie that features in the first one. I don't know what it's called, but it features a snake. So um, that was cool to see the parallels between the first and second one. But obviously being in New York and he's eating ice cream like he does in the first one. He's watching rubbish and eating stuff. Like the line he says to Buzz, well, out loud to Buzz. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's cool. really cool to see these films. It's a year later, the parallels... Are really cool, but in New York, I mean, not Marvin and Harry are in are there to rob toy stores because it's the it, it's the best place to be for them in a robbery sense at Christmas. So they come across him after he leaves. Um, I think it's after he leaves Duncan's um toy shop. I watched this yesterday, and my memory at times is just blur. But yeah, they come across him, and then the whole rest of the film they start to pursue him chasing him through central park uh obviously at his uncle's house which is a uh, um being renovated which is where the traps come in this is that's the latter part of the film uh, another main focus in this film is the bird lady who he comes across with who he again like the shovel guy in the first film he fears her because she's homeless she's with birds she's dirty and it's a typical kid. You see someone like that, you're going to run and scream. He befriends her. They have a nice story. He learns all about her, how she came homeless. Uh, they form a really good bond. And then you see later in the film, after the whole house scene of doing the traps and electrocuting them and falling down holes, um, it leads to the park where he comes across the bird lady. The bird lady saves him and he has fireworks and attracts the police. And it's a really cool scene. Their relationship's amazing in this film and the whole turtle dove thing that he gets from Duncan early in the film and gives her such a nice sentiment and shows that she's not alone in this world and it makes it so Christmassy. The family element is a bit more rushed in this one, but it's still amazing to watch and the whole Christmas tree element that she knows Kevin's a huge Christmas tree fan and when they see each other at the end, the bond between them two is amazing. Uh, the other the other members of the family don't really care. They're just watching It's Wonderful Life for the whole film. So. But yeah, a lot of amazing things in this. Duncan, uh, the hotel trio, they're really funny. Tim Curry, they played an amazing role. Uh, he's such a likeable, such an iconic actor, not a likeable, I'd say, because he plays sort of villainous roles. Yeah, so many good moments in this film. Harv and Mary are really good again. Obviously, they are the sticky bandits in this, the wet bandits in the first one. Uh, the traps were upped from the first one more on a death level they should have died especially the brick one where he's throwing bricks off the roof that was so hard to watch at times Cause even though I've seen this film a million times it's still like ow oh, he should be dead but yeah a lot of comedy a lot of heart a lot of amazing scenes uh, easily the best home along film one of the best Christmas films I think and I highly recommend this if you have not seen it uh, Home Alone 3 and 4 and 5 will be coming very soon to wrap up the Home Alone series. I hope you enjoyed this film and you checked it out. Obviously, it's an old one, but yeah, I'm sure there's still people out there yet to watch it. 
Um, that's it for me. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment any more Christmas films you'd like to see this month and down the line. Any more shows you want to see. More are coming de- next week. Fresh shows, fresh movies. So many different things. Stay tuned for that. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>